Hi guys, this is Paras here and I have created this video in order to share my experiences uh, with the disease that I am suffering from. Uh, I am suffering from chronic myeloid leukemia. It has been almost uh, quite a bit long time, it's almost a six and a half years that I am suffering from this disease. So I would want to share what were the early symptoms of the disease, what medication I am taking and other some sort of side effects of the medicine that I am taking as of now. So in the early stages it was like in uh, 2011 it got detected uh, in the month of April. Um, uh, the early symptoms were like what made me to reach or approach the doctor world. Uh, like I had some so uh, swelling. I felt uh, bloating uh, in my stomach especially towards the left side, uh, left uh, side of the rib cage that we have. Underneath that, we have an organ called uh, spleen that is uh, quite small in size, but it got enlarged. So once I reached the doctor, she insisted me on uh, taking the very cardinal or basic um, uh, blood counter test. So in that test itself, it was detected that my WBCs were abnormally rising in count, though it was not considered so very abnormal those time those days uh, but uh, she told that uh, the thing that is uh, quite a bit noticeable over here is like the composition of blood the component of uh, especially of that particular uh, wbc uh, is uh, not good one particular one specific component was there and uh, it was myeloid so uh, she told that uh, these are uh, the cancer cells and uh, it is quite a bit early stage and uh, she recommended me to visit a cancer hospital she recommended to personally to go to Velour Velour is a place in Tamil Nadu in South India uh, it is near to Chennai so promptly I took it very seriously and then I uh, approached the doctor it was pretty hard for me uh, to get a private appointment but somehow I managed to get it in the um, the first day of my visit uh, the doctor uh, told me to get my generic blood test done again and uh, also bone marrow test to be done so they took the sample from my bone marrow um, uh, from my spine lower uh, uh, back bone my lower back and then it was confirmed that I am suffering from leukemia. So he told her that it is easily controllable, no need to have uh, too much of anxiety, no need to worry that much. So for the next 15 days, uh, he prescribed me uh, almost three tablets, three drugs. I took them for uh, 15 days. Directly, he did not give me the drug that is known of treating the leukemia. So after 15 days I again paid a visit to the doctor and I stopped with that medicine. I started taking the generic Indian version of imatinib that is VNET as I could not avail the drug free of cost. Uh, the drug that was supposed to be available free of cost was uh, Novartis. By Novartis there is a drug called as Gleevec but I could not avail that free. So I had to go and choose uh, VNET that is a natural drug and uh, uh, it was like uh, in the early days while I took those medicines that tablet during the um, during my meals or uh, post to my meals I would feel um, puking I would feel to puke quite often and uh, feeling of nausea I would describe better and uh, uh, so I uh, wanted to figure out some of the other ways so that I would get rid of this kind of uh, an uh, ugly feeling or something nasty is happening in my stomach always and you know, gaseous problem would be that so I took it while the time I would have meals not post to the meals or before the time I would have meals promptly before the time I would have meals I would have uh, taken the tablet and um, Every three months I was supposed to be visiting the doctor 
have my regular blood count test uh, once in a year he would ask me to go for rq pcr test uh, that gives a uh, precise statistics as uh, what is a blood count and uh, is a disease still there or not uh, still they tend to uh, suggest to me <coughs> to go for rq pcr test once in a year but the only difference nowadays and in the early days while i tend to visit the doctor is like every third month i <coughs> would visit the doctor but nowadays it is happening like every fourth month i am supposed to be visiting the doctor and <coughs> he would prescribe me the medicine for next four months so um, another point i would want to mention is i lost almost 15 kg of my weight while i came to bangalore i was uh, 85 kgs and uh, while I suffered the disease uh, so uh, at that moment I was almost uh, 71 kgs so while I started taking the medicine it was not like that I my swelling in the spleen I recovered instantly it was not like that it took some time for the recovery but to pace that recovery to make that faster I took some alternative medicine as well I took uh, cow urine therapy I ordered some medicine from uh, Jan's uh, cow urine clinic that is based in Indore uh, so they would uh, uh, give you a bunch of medicines I would say lots of tonics and uh, tablets are there so it helped me to recover from the disease uh, faster so while the time I was uh, I was not detected with this uh, disease and uh, the symptoms were not so very clear I noticed uh, that uh, I had a frequent uh, feeling of uh, fatigue and uh, I tend to sweat a lot so but I did not consider it considered I uh, considered it as uh, some of the uh, symptom that is uh, driving me or dragging me uh, towards cancer or something because I did not have no idea of uh, this so uh, I did not uh, sacrifice or uh, you know I did not quit any of my regular food habits that I had imbibed from so many past years so nothing like that but uh, some of the habits I started or like I I um, went for green tea quite often and uh, though uh, it was not like uh, very frequent but uh, more over in a week uh, twice I would go for green tea and uh, after taking the medicine from the cow urine uh, therapist I found that uh, it was not so very easy to engulf the tablets or the tonics at uh, once because uh, it too gave me a feeling of life I would uh, throw at any moment I would uh, start throwing up uh, uh, at any moment well it did not ever happen only the feeling lasted quite few minutes and uh, so momentarily I am uh, still taking uh, leukemia medicines and uh, planning to go for some exercises like uh, yoga and uh, if you uh, know some of your uh, colleagues or friends uh, any relatives or associates who is suffering from the same kind of a disease then uh, i would uh, suggest you or i would i would i would insist you in uh, sharing whatever whatever i am telling you as an alternative medicine um, i would say he can go for coherent and in the course of time while you are taking the medicine or the regular allopathic medication it is not very really harmful in any terms uh, to consume any alternative medicine as well uh, besides uh, one can also listen to high frequencies uh, those are available on youtube for leukemia so what exact is the science uh, that you can explore more as to how it impacts or how it engulfs the uh, cancer cells in the blood uh, I have been listening to high frequencies quite lately 
and I feel quite energetic as soon as I finish that particular session or that particular window of around 15 or 24 minutes. Mm. And uh, thank you for watching the video.